From the one and only, this is a Local 10 News Update, sponsored by Wellmax Medical Centers. Good afternoon, South Florida. I'm Christy Krueger. Here's a look at some of the stories making news on this Tuesday, September the 13th. King Charles III arrived in Northern Ireland earlier today. The king accompanied by his wife Camilla, the queen consort, as they arrived at the royal residence, Hillsborough Castle there. They were greeting the public and following a reception held at the castle, the royal couple then attended an afternoon service of prayer and reflection at St. Anne's Cathedral in Belfast. This is King Charles's first trip to Northern Ireland as the UK's new monarch. And we also have some exclusive videos seeing the chilling moments. A grandmother was caught in the crossfire and killed right outside her home in Miami. 89-year-old Elizabeth Lovell was shot and killed Friday night. She was sitting on a chair outside when that shooting began. Two men running past her, bullets striking cars nearby. There was a shootout and Lovell was caught right in the middle of it. Loved ones are hoping anyone with information will come forward and help police. And a new video shows a driver getting on the Palmetto Expressway going the wrong way. Moments later, that driver caused a crash that killed five young victims. This happened August 20th on the Palmetto, right near 57th Avenue. On Monday, the Miami-Dade State Attorney's Office released that new video that they're going to use in their case against a suspect, Makey Simeon. A police report says he was driving 80 miles an hour and his blood alcohol level was nearly double the legal limit. And firefighters had their hands full this morning in Alapata, Sky 10 over this fire. This is at Northwest 32nd Avenue and north of Northwest 36th Street. The flames very close to a residential area lined by rows of palm trees, which you can see right there did catch fire. Miami-Dade fire officials tell us, though, the fire is now out. And as breaking news happens, we have you covered both on air and online. Head to local10.com for more local news coverage and updates all day long. Have a great afternoon.